Yo, yo, man, what it is and what it ain't, man. It's your boy BL Ratchet back again, man. We are Florida Podcast presented by Mix One Essentials, man. We got a special guest on the couch with us today. Back again, Stunna for Vegas. The What's biggest up, foe, you boy? know. The biggest foe, you know. Who you got with us? Slim 1K, Slim 1K. My boy Slim 1K. Coming out of North Carolina. Man. Okay, okay, man. You brought you brought a game down here best, with you today. Best thing coming out of North Carolina. For sure, for sure, man. How you how you doing today? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing great for real. Just drop that forever, everywhere right now. If you ain't got it yet, go get it. For sure, man. Y'all stream go stream it, that forever. It's on that. all platforms all right platforms. now. Just drop. Wherever you can press play. For sure, man. So, like, let's talk a little bit about the album a little bit. You feel me? So, like, what's what's one of them songs, you know what I'm saying, right now that, that we can go jam right now, you feel me? What's one of them ones, like, all right, this, that one. Go listen to this. Mm. Damn. Damn, I said paper cut, freestyle, or paranoid. Okay, okay. Paranoid, dot, dot, produce that motherfucker. Um, okay. Paper cut, freestyle, my boy Simo, no heart, produce that motherfucker. For sure, for sure, man. So you you shot any videos to the tape yet? No, uh, Yeah, we got like six in the chamber. Six in the chamber? I'm really supposed to be shooting one tonight. Okay, I'm supposed okay. Supposed to be shooting one tonight, too, I'm what, right. What's the, uh, what's the singles off, off the project? Um... Like, you mean songs by myself? Yeah, like the single that you finna, like, push. Uh, I mean, we gonna push Red Room. We gonna okay. push Red Room for sure, but I'm trying to push. I'm trying to definitely push that Paper Cut, too, or that Paranoid, too. So okay, okay. Them first two I hollered at you about. For sure, for sure. For sure. So, bro, let's get a little bit into your backstory, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? You coming out of North Carolina? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, what what's the town? The city so I, was I really was born in Atlanta. I don't, I don't think I ever said no shit like this either, though. But I was really born in Atlanta, in a, like in a hospital. I wasn't born in a hospital in, in North Carolina, but my mama was like young, so my folks came and got me from out there. Okay. I, I was basically in Salisbury since I was a baby. Okay, okay. Salisbury, North Carolina, like sure. forty minutes from Charlotte. So how I was growing up out there, you know what I'm saying? Y'all being close to Charlotte, like Charlotte going. It, it ain't close to Charlotte though. It went well. It was probably an hour from Charlotte, but okay. it wasn't that close to that. When I even first my first time going to Charlotte was probably like a junior in high school. You feel me? For yeah. real, like for real, for real. no lie. Yeah, so it's like it's like kind of like I hear type shit. It, Niggas don't really go to Miami as close as they think. Like, we out here type shit, niggas don't really go mm. out there unless we balling, you know. Nah, because Miami yeah. three hours from yeah, that y'all, feel me? So, Charlotte, like, everybody, like, you know, outside of Florida, they think, like, we running across the hood. Oh, yeah, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah, I do, you know, that shit, bit, bro, the, everything is almost the same everywhere, you mm-hmm. feel me? So, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. For sure, for sure, bro. So, you been dropping music, too? Hell yeah. What you got, what you got coming up? Uh, right now I got Chapter One K out with the EP. Um, chapter One work. K out everywhere. Yeah, out everywhere. Okay. I, I'm still I'm working on some shit right now. Always working. Always working. Always working. Sure. Never twerking. Never, never. <laughs> never that <laughs> for sure. So, bro, like, how you grew up out there? You know what I'm saying, Stunner? Like, like, give me a little bit. You know what I'm saying on your background. Uh, all right. So, boom. Mm, what I say? I say. I probably like growing up with my uncle and my aunt because my mama was young until she moved to North Carolina. And then my mama moved to North Carolina. You know, that shit, she young. So we probably like Section 8. Good minute. Okay. Well, I wasn't in school when we was on Section 8, though. Like, I was still a baby, like running around and shit like that. Or at least a kid running around. And then, um, shit, what I wanted to say. We probably, I stayed on the same side of town. You feel me? All. Like elementary, middle school, I did end up leaving my city. I ended up leaving Salisbury. I went to uh, Winston Salem. Okay, that's where Chris Paul from. Yeah, I was gonna say I heard of that before. Yeah, he from uh, he from uh, Winston Salem, but I went to R.J. Reynolds. I think bro went to like West Forsyth or some shit like that. But I went to R.J. Reynolds my freshman year. Then I went to Winston. Went out there. I failed, so I went back home. Went to school out there. Got down when I went back home. I went. I I damn sure went to every school. You feel me? That's why I, I don't be trying to go deep into my shit, cause I be feeling like my shit ain't different than the yeah. the next nigga that get that can get up here. You feel me? That got the same shit I got going on. And cause of so how you got into music? Though? Niggas do be doing the same shit. Just shit. Just love like loving music. Okay. Just loving music. I always probably was listening to um 
niggas before they pop, before I pop. Like I was already. What age you got into it though? Um, I don't know, I can't even say. I'll probably say though, like sixth grade. That's sixth grade. No. Yeah, like sixth grade. Whenever I old I was in sixth grade, that's why the first time I like um like bought a CD or some shit, something like that, or a uh, uh, CD player or iPod, whatever. I know that's when it was though. I got I got like something where I could put the headphones in, and I kept getting in trouble with that motherfucker in school. My mama go get me another one. What you? It was an MP3 to? player, matter of fact, MP3 player. What you was listening to? What artists? Um, I listen to Gucci. I was listening to nigga. I was listening to like older niggas that had a click in my city. I was listening to that shit the most because uh, I could download that shit off MySpace at the time. <laughs> but yeah, um, MySpace is lit. Yeah. Man. So yeah, Gucci <laughs> shit. Yeah, a little bit of Soldier Boy because yeah. you know he was on MySpace too. Gucci fucking Future, whatever he had, probably like. Nah, not future, not future yet. I'm probably in like ninth grade. I don't know though, bro. Like old down south shit for sure. Like for sure, for sure. Ti shit that was playing on the radio. You feel me? I could just play it over and over instead of waiting for it to come on on the radio. For sure, for shit sure. Shit like that. I ain't gonna lie, MySpace was lit, bro. Nah, MySpace fast. MySpace was fucking nah, lit. Nah, fast. I ain't gonna lie, Facebook, Facebook straight, but MySpace was lit. Nah, fast. I for definitely sure. was one. I was like, I'm, I'm that old that I was there for them days type yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had yeah, like yeah. A, a a top. Uh, top friends list Hell yeah Yeah Man, I'm, that, I'm, that, man I, I'm that boy on my space <laughs> That's what y'all tell niggas Like I was already that boy on my space On the yeah. book When nah, the gram came that all that, space, though, You was gonna always be always that man be that, Always be that nigga Bro over there shit. Bro shit. over there Look Bro right there yeah. On this bait phone <laughs> Lame on my space. Nah, real shit. <laughs> Turned though, out you, to be a lame today. Not, not real shit. If you know how to make a profile picture, get your music. I'm trying to tell you, bro. If you, you was that talk, man on my space, like, you is the man. Yeah, you was that man for sure. <laughs> That's it, bro. Like you know what I mean by that too. Like and in middle school. Yeah, man. I already know. I already know. Nigga bro. already think he grown. Like, yeah, for sure. So who the first person to ever tell you like your music was hard, bro? Um, man, this nigga, um, Jonathan Black. Jonathan Black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Real nigga though, real nigga. He he like the first nigga that like recorded some shit with me too. We was um, like eighth grade going into into the ninth grade, recorded in like in this closet. I started going back over that bitch recording with bro. He started like, man, you need to start recording by yourself. And he had, like recorded for me. I started learning how to do it. It was on the old ass shit though. I think it was mixed crab. I don't know. It might have been mixed crab though. I might not be tripping, but um, some shit niggas definitely don't use today. But um, yeah, I learned how to do that shit on there. But I wasn't taking it serious. Kaboom! Yeah, this is like like I say, this eighth grade going to the ninth grade. So I already been bad all through middle school. I'm like, yeah, I need to. I'm about to try to play sports. Type shit, you feel me? So around this time, I probably try. Uh, my grade. No, I ain't play sports in Winston, cause I ain't even stay at the school. That's why I stopped rapping for real, cause I, I like I say, I met bro, and we were like eighth graders going into the ninth grade. Start fuck with each other on the music, but I got my mama moved, so that's why I moved from my. Uh, I went to like that school with bro for the first two weeks, and then we moved to Winston Salem. Okay. I, I ain't. It wasn't no rap shit going on, but my aunt boyfriend was rapping. You feel me? But he was just like he was hard though. He definitely was hard, but he was like trying to do some like group shit all the time. He used to like try to give me the rapping shit, but I was just like not sold on it because it was him though. I was like, man. I, like I was in my head, I'm like, damn, bro, already like he hard though. I knew he was hard because I used to listen to him. I'm like, yeah. damn, aunt hard, but like, nigga, if I join him, I might be just like him. Like that's what <laughs> I was thinking at that time for real. So I wasn't interested. I was just being bad. Got them. Then I end up going back home. Uh, when I went back home, like I say, I failed in uh, I failed my ninth grade year and went to Salem. So I went back home. We went back home. Um, we probably stayed with my grandma. And then I was going to a, like, a school in the suburbs, like, really in the country, like, really in, not even the suburbs. It's the suburbs, but it's like, you know, it ain't too much of us down there type yeah. shit, literally. But 
it was a cool spot. Cause even on, like my first day there, the basketball coach, that's how I got on the team. Cause I guess he seen my height or some shit. He come to my class like, man, I get you in the right grade and all that. All you gotta do is come to practice today and shit like that. I'm like, hell yeah, ooh. I did whatever I had to do to get in the right grade. Played basketball there for a year. Ended up going back to that school where I was where I, when I was with brother that was rapping. But mind you, that's why I, I grew up over there. So I got all my people over there for real. I got friends at this school, though, because of basketball and other sports. But I'm over there every weekend. or Whenever I can get over there, I'm over there. So when I go back over there, it's I like just adapt right back to whatever I was around, like yeah. probably rapping and Playing around rapping though, we weren't recording, just like rapping, beating on the table at lunch and shit like that. That type of shit. That's why I say every, every nigga say that shit <laughs> when he talk about, you feel me? Like, no, I get what you're saying. Every nigga say saying. that shit, but like, that's literally how that shit happened. But I ain't jump off the porch with the music shit till like after high school. I started dropping music, mixtapes, music videos, shit on SoundCloud, mm-hmm. Spin Rilla. So, then, like, I often say, so like, what made you not want to pursue your hoop dream? <clears throat> Man, nigga, I wasn't like, I, I you, told you that. that, that, that you like, want, you want. I wasn't like how I am now, you yeah, feel me? Like, okay. I wasn't known that. Okay, I, bro, okay. I didn't even like, I remember at one point in time, I didn't know what a 2 3 zone was. Like, yeah. Cause you weren't finna be reading plays and doing nothing. Nah, that none shit. of that, bro. The nigga put me on the team to help me get right, in my right grade, yeah, literally. Right. And then when he seen how rough I was, like, I knew why I was on the team easily, you feel me? I knew when I came in the game or who I had to guard, I knew I was on the team. Shit like that. But I probably, like, enjoy basketball more, like, AU, Like, because okay. of where I – boom, when I moved over there and I started playing on the basketball team, I just started kicking it with one of the kids that was on the team to where I'm over here at his shit every day. Like, I'm down there with him and his mama, for real, like, the whole school year until I go back over there. But um, I play AAU with him because his mama owned the team and shit. That's, that's definitely what I be – Saying too, like that's what inspired me to even do the AU shit. Cause she, I remember her doing that shit and getting everybody's shoes. She ain't had no sponsor, getting everybody jersey. She ain't had no sponsor. We all in the same B and B. You feel me? Ooh, ooh, shit like that. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, wish you just saying that. That's like a different grind, bro. Cause that's like, you know how you saying that we we do shit like for football like that out here. Oh yeah, hell and yeah. Nah, I want to do that though. Yeah, cause that's big. Like I that fought basketball Pope shit way. out there. Like, nah, hell yeah. Huge. The football shit is too though. Yeah, but it ain't like it is out here. I ain't gonna. Lot, but I've been telling Pope waiting on him like, man, I want to do that shit, bro. I want to do a seven on seven team, but I just want to do it the right way. I want to do it with the right people that ain't gonna be putting the wrong shit in the kids' ears or shit like that or whatever. Cause you know how it is, bro. What you your know, name your team? Uh, full time something, bro. I don't know. Oh no, I don't. I just told the bros that yeah. even with the AU shit, we not doing nothing that got to do with, with me. We need to name okay, it. Okay, yeah, like, make that be all the way legit. Type. Legit, yeah. You yeah. feel me? Like they know what's going on because I'm. I i do not miss nothing. But, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's what I was. I'm probably. I would do some like a legit thing. For sure, for sure, man. When it's so time. like, when did when did you really catch your buzz? Like you know what I'm saying in the city. At home, like. After I graduated high after school. No, 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 no. Yeah, after I graduated high school, cause like I say, that's when I started dropping music. But after I, dro- uh, after I graduated high school, I started dropping little videos, shit like that. And then I started going to, like, Greensboro. That's a city that's, like, just like Charlotte. It's just, like, not too city. Like, it, it's, like, a little bit more ratchet than Charlotte. But uh, I started going to Greensboro, <coughs> doing shows, opening up for niggas. Riley going to Tim Ball shows, uh, trying to open up for rappers that he was bringing to the Carolinas, shit like that. And then it it, it caught heat. Feel me? The music videos, I was I was consistent. I was putting out music videos, shit like that. It was catching heat. And then like it caught bro I on somebody else's page though, not even my page. And then like I say. Somebody told me they uh he coming on it. He like bro, he bro say he fuck with it. I say tell him I'm trying to get in there. You feel me? Was, in there. was that the first like was that the first like um like label you ever dealt with like dealing with him dealing with uh, the living? Yeah, but okay. when when I first got with him, it went. We wasn't a label yet. Like we were just yeah. kicking it, like kicking. Okay. yeah. And then we were kicking it so much that he so no management, no name. This one I'm talking about, like no. we had none of that. No, I okay. just had like I had like uh. Nah, hell no, nah, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. Okay. I I just literally had a team like we, cause like I say, we were going to Greensboro, Raleigh. We was even going to places like Raleigh. I mean, DC. Sometimes we don't went to D DC before I pop. We don't went to Dallas before I pop. We don't went to a couple places, but that 
before I pop. Then when I went back after I pop, like motherfucker, be like, boy, I was uh, I when you was it was twelve niggas in yeah. there. You feel me? Shit like that. So uh, that nigga definitely did a lot of that, bro. In Atlanta, like it, I remember one month we went to Atlanta three weekends straight trying to win a goddamn thousand dollar prize contest, contest yeah. type shit. I'm in. There, I'm bro. I knew it was over it because I was in there spanking shit, but. We was doing a lot of that shit, you feel me? So a lot of people don't be knowing either that a, a nigga definitely did a lot, a lot, a lot of groundwork before a nigga just popped. Like, probably just not as many years that a lot of other people be doing, but shit, I was already that boy. You feel me? That's I said. I just probably should have kept rapping when I w- was trying in high school for real, but I ended up moving. I should have tried to do that shit in Winston when I moved because that city was way bigger than where I was from and shit like that, but... Man, well, I see any young nigga today, I be telling him, like, and he be hard with it. I'm like, man, stay in school, bro. I'm trying to tell you, like, nigga, you going to be the biggest shit. Like, you already around. The high school's not be 2,000, 3,000 kids in that motherfucker. For sure. So, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you catch a buzz, you sign, you know what I'm saying? You the, you one of the, you know what I'm saying, most viralist motherfuckers on the internet mm-hmm. during that year type shit, you know what I'm saying? Talking about that, y'all popping y'all shit, years, that rolling sure. loud. I mean, how that experience was, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? This your first, like, yeah, doing this shit. I'm talking about everybody knowing your song word for word, people walking up Mm -hmm. to you in the motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, the mall. Nah, facts. Like, how that shit felt, bro? It felt good, shit. It felt great. It it would would damn near too fast, like, bro, like, I don't know, though, but, like, people probably think I'll just be talking about it. I really don't, but... When I, I be like, damn, that shit happened so fast that, like, it got boring quick like that. I remember being on the road six months straight. And, I, and sometimes be like, my boy, be like, boy, god damn, I'm ready to go home. Yeah. But, like, even on some real shit, like, boy, I'm ready to go see my mama, goddamn, like, or whatever, bro. Like, but that shit was fun. It was, like, a great experience, a great experience. Like, I don't regret none of that shit. I don't take, I wouldn't take nothing back, but... Shit, it was just like, I don't know, bro. I swear that shit happened really fast, bro. It happened really, really, really fast. Like, no lie. Like, it happened so fast, I forgot. I be forgetting a lot of shit I did because I used to be high as hell, you feel me? Like, living fast. Nah, hell nah. Uh-huh. I, I mean, yeah. Like, uh, you know, you, you just high as hell. You just. <laughs> but but I, I, I'm not even saying it like that. Like, when I was moving around like that, I didn't even. I ain't started, like, getting high, 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 like, until after I started chilling, for real. Yeah. Like, when I was try, when I said I'm going to chill, when I got them told, uh, my Akia, she was my manager at the time, a, a, like, a hustling motherfucker. Like, I could be, I could be on some hot shit. And she wouldn't like it. She'd be like, man, you know, them nigga, you going to do three shows at least this month and some features or whatever. And she was making it happen. Like, I remember at one point in time, I told her, like, we don't, I don't want to take nothing no more because I was just trying to figure that shit out with it. When I really was, like, on some chill shit with the rap shit, finally, I'm like, nah, I'm going to chill. I got, I got some money. I can really chill. Woo, woo, me and my brother moved to Houston. I'm like, man, I'm about to chill. Literally, I'm going to do this shit when I want to. That's what I, how I was doing it. I was... Doing features like when niggas like Peso Peso, I did a feature with him as soon as I moved to Houston. Some shit that was like cool to where I was like, I ain't about to drop nothing else because that shit's so hard. You feel me? I ain't tripping like same shit. Yeah, and, and, I, and I was, hell yeah, I was getting hella. Yeah, yeah. I moved to Houston, but before I moved to Houston, I probably made like 50 before I moved to Houston. Like easily made a 50 with A Red, my boy. Shout out A Red, A Red, uh, rec- A Red Recording Studios, one of the best studios in Houston. Um, one of the best engineers in Houston too, for sure. But like, I had made so much money with him that he, I told him when we made the money that when I made it with him, like that was in a day too. I'm like, well, I'm gonna move out here. And I remember moving to Houston and like my first year there, like it was the same same shit. The first six months in his studio every night, three a.m., four five a.m. It was like it was home already. Yeah, yeah, it was already home. But boom, I was chilling. I wasn't going to the studio to like. Recording over project like I would literally a real like nigga got five thousand nigga got six thousand yeah. hustling too I was just getting ten I'm like oh I'm coming to grab that bitch woo 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 I'm coming to grab that but I was getting so high like I was getting so high I was down there telling myself like damn I gotta get high to rap so that's like 
when I was with bro, and we were moving around and all that. I ain't. I used to be like clear mind. I just used to be turned. Everybody used to think because of how turned I was. I'll be. Yeah, I was gonna say, something. bro, y'all was turned. Nah, yeah. I, I just be that. Like, yeah. I remember going to places and 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 because of who I am at heart, I get in a room and be like this. You feel me with whoever? Yeah. Every single one of these niggas, every single one of them. I'm not lying. They vouch. And. And niggas around me will be like, bro, you can't be doing that. Because like, when, gotta, yeah, like people used to. You be to on the music video, and I'm like, nigga, that's that's just for that, nigga. Like, mm -hmm. well, I'm supposed to be just jumping around these niggas like I don't even yeah. know these niggas. Like, <laughs> feel me shit on like On the regular that. and shit. Yeah, like, bro, I, I I was also confusing myself with shit like that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I was confusing myself with, like, telling myself, like, boy, we got to get into something for me to go to the studio. Like, I was really telling myself, like, I'm not going to the studio like on no beatbox shit twin. Like I'm telling the bros that they listening too. Like, but I ain't saying they listening because I don't have no yes men around me. I don't yeah, know what that sure. shit look like, bro. I swear to God, like any nigga around me gonna tell me right then and there, like nigga tighten up. But niggas like that, you feel me? So whatever, bro. I ain't about to say too much, but you know I'm like, I was telling myself that, and feel me. That got a, that got a lot to do with why I had moved to Houston too. Cause I was like, man, hey man, nigga get away with stealing candy from a kid out this motherfucker. Sure. Feel me? So it like, man, just move around. You feel me? Shit, like move around. It wasn't nothing, nothing more, nothing less than like me growing up. So then I was like thinking I'm growing up. I moved to Houston. I started getting high. I started getting high, nigga, to where like. Like I say, I run into motherfuckers that's bigger than the the people that I was meeting in them rooms when it was twelve people, radio station people whoop whoop, and I'd be like, nigga, be like, nigga, I, I, I was at you at the BT Awards red carpet interview. I'd be like, man, shit, <laughs> feel me? Like, but you ain't even realizing those. Yeah, types hell shit. yeah, but yeah. that's why I say it was too much happening, real quick, bro. Like I went to Germany my first year as a rapper on my own Rolling Loud set. You feel me? Real shit. I went to Portugal on my own Rolling Loud set. Turn that bitch my up. first year. <clears throat> like, nigga. I didn't even remember that. I was on my passport the other day. I had stamps and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, oh yeah, I had to use this bitch to go out there. Feel me? Oh God, bro. I, it was too much, bro. Jimmy Fallon, BT Awards, all that yeah, shit. Yeah, I was gonna say Jimmy all Fallon. All that shit, nigga. Like, all yeah. that shit. And I went up there and, and was me. Every time, nigga, like, I walked out of BT Awards. I ain't sitting there and watched that shit. After the brother perform, I got up out of there. For sure. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to ask you this, though, bro, because it's like when y'all when y'all boys came onto like, the scene, you feel me? It was like y'all was already developed as true artists for real, for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, that's because we are. That's because we were, yeah, too, though. That's because we were. It wasn't like no shit that had to be developed. That's literally yeah. all, bro. Mm -hmm. And I ain't going to lie. That's North Carolina niggas. I feel so like any North came out. I, bro, that's North Carolina niggas. Like, you ain't have to teach them niggas nothing. Bro, like, that, not North about everybody was entertaining yeah. people. Bro, that's North Carolina that's niggas. That's crazy. I'm trying to tell you, that's North Carolina niggas, yeah. though. Like, real shit. Everybody was hip to it. Like, you would think, because that shit's so small, and we don't be like, they don't parade us how they parade Atlanta niggas and New York niggas. And, but, bro, North Carolina niggas know, like, every, every North Carolina nigga I done met, like, my whole clique... Full of niggas that ain't grow up where I grew up at. For sure. All single one of them niggas is ahead of niggas that be growing up in these big cities and shit like that. Big neighborhoods, big houses, trying to be doing what we had to do or whatever. Like everybody that I know that had to go through that or that really lived in a treacherous life, them are the ones that's ahead of niggas that didn't live that life. In the whole world, bro, not even just my homeboys. In the whole world, I feel like any nigga that grew up where they had to struggle for real, they ahead of who didn't have to. Facts, facts. Mm -hmm. For for sure. That's facts, though. That's, like, real facts, too. For sure. So, like, bro, the label, you know what I'm saying? The label y'all, like, you was on, you know what I'm saying? That shit was, like, like everybody was expecting, like, you know what I'm saying? That bit of, like, go, like, some QC type shit. Which label we talking about? Like, Billion Dollar Baby. N mm -hmm. uh, NT. You know what I'm saying? So everybody was expecting to go, like, on some QC shit, like, some takeover shit, because bruh had some raw artists on that bit, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was had their own flow, everybody had their own little swag, all mm -hmm. that shit. Like, who you was fucking who you was fucking with on the label, too, bruh, besides, like, you know I'll what I'm saying? I will fucking with anybody, bro. Okay. I will fucking with everybody, bro. Like, I will fucking with everybody. Anybody bro bought to that shit, I will fucking with him. Yeah. Like, how he fuck with me. No matter if I fuck with their music or not. 
I was sure. fucking with him how he was fucking with me. I knew like I knew the recipe. I knew how we just made me pop. Facts. Why wouldn't I? And that was that's what I was gonna ask mm-hmm. you because like you know, you know certain people you know they be on the label, but it's like. They won't fuck with that person. They nah, fuck with that, nah that, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. That was not okay. me. You can go look. This facts. You can go look yeah. at the shit with Gillian Wallow and Charlotte. Mind you, I think I was the first one to ask them niggas to come out there too and do that. Like, for real, for real. But uh, I was turning up the other artists. Like, I go back and look at this shit too. Like, and not look at it bad or wrong, but I just be looking at it myself. Like, damn, nigga, that's like that. Sometimes just me being a genuine nigga at heart would be my downfall. But you can go look at this shit anywhere, bro. How like I was mascots for niggas for sure that I ain't have to be mascots for for real. But I definitely was, bro. Like, but and I ain't nothing against nobody, bro. I, I uh I fuck with all the artists that he had for sure. Like, especially Wisdom, especially Dunk. Fuck with everybody, bro. No, I ain't got nothing against nobody. But like, I was, I was the one that could have been the gatekeeper. I ain't do that, bro. I ain't mm-hmm. never been that. I could have been that though. I was the one doing shows still. I ain't have to go with him like they did. I could have went to the mall dolo. I, you feel me? It was a lot of shit that I wasn't doing that shit, bro. I wasn't doing that shit. I was whatever, whatever the move is. It, this it. For sure. Like even if we about to push my shit back. Let's do it. Like, whatever we on, I'm on that. About this. Like, you feel me? About sure. this. I'm goddamn. So, yours for the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for the man. For the yes, bro. picture. I'm the team sure. player. Yeah. For sure. Can't for nobody sure. say different. So, what What can, you know what I'm saying, somebody say, like, what's most understood about, you know what I'm saying, Stunner? Misunderstood? Yeah. Mm. I don't be knowing, bro, because shit. I also don't be giving a damn. For sure. I really don't be knowing. I, I I don't know how to answer that question. So when I see people answer, I be like, "Nigga, you don't even know that." Like, yeah. So I can't say that for sure because you don't know like what other people think about you, but you know what people tell you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's like human nature is yeah. like to say, "Oh man, I ain't no bitch ass nigga," or "I ain't no hating ass nigga." You feel me? But like, and you don't know what a motherfucker think for about sure. you because mm-hmm. really, like, what people might tell you in their head. I mean, what people might say out their mouth is not what it, what's really going on in their head type shit. You what know? a nigga might yeah. say on Instagram might not even say out their mouth when they see you. Man, yeah. Instagram is not real life. Man, listen, I know damn well. I know people, when people used to like get in your inbox and talk shit type shit, you ever responded? Hell yeah, man. I was so childish. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> yeah, you was responding? <laughs> what you said to in a fan, In the comments fan? and shit too? What you ever said, like the craziest shit you done said to a fan? I was just childish, bro. I was just childish. Yeah. Okay. I ain't never really did that shit with no fans. Probably like For niggas sure. that played. I ain't never do it out loud, though. That, that was my problem. But that ain't my problem at the same time. You feel me? For sure. But again, because I ain't never been the one to like, uh, I ain't trying to goddamn, you feel me? All right, man. You know what's going down, bro, but I probably been childish with niggas that play maybe in the DMs, like send a nigga a video of a house or some shit like that before. Yeah. But like and I ain't do nothing. But childish shit like that, but not with like fans other than in the comments, probably like, nigga shut up. For sure. I ain't about to wolf no fan on the Instagram. Nah, That's how you sure. get your shit took for real. For sure, for sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Randomly. Random ass person, you like, oh yeah, I'm the one in the comments. Yeah, for sure. No. So like, bro, how you feel about the current, you know what I'm saying, music industry right now? Like, you feel like that shit watered down? Because people ain't even really charting no more, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Man, they ain't shit. really. I feel like it's, it. It's not feel, like when y'all came out. Yeah, yeah it's not. Say nah, it's different. Not, that's it's not. It's not. I know what I'm it's saying. It's not. But boom, let me tell you this though. Like, that's what I'm just saying, bro. That's why you got to know, like. Boom. Like, even before me and him came out, I remember, like, everybody from his city trying to sound like Boosie. Other than ba- Baby wasn't on that, but everybody from his city was trying to sound like Boosie or NBA Youngboy because YB was already coming to Charlotte. Mm-hmm. Before he, like, we was already on YB. He was already coming to Charlotte. I ain't see him in person, but we was already on his music, too, where I was from. But he was already just in doing shit in Charlotte features. In the loop. Fucking, he out there fucking around in Charlotte early, like early, early. So everybody out there was trying to be him. So when he got locked up, when around the time bro got locked up, you know, it, I think it was probably like two. It was like mm. J D Young and two. He he had his shit going on. 
Young and Ace, my boy Young mm-hmm. and Ace had his shit going on. Yeah. Uh, it was just that sound, that yeah, that one melody. Sound, yeah. And then when me and Baby came, man, that's all you heard. Mm-hmm. Even if it was from the other rappers, the big rappers that was trying to make music like YB, because it was plenty of them niggas too. It was mm-hmm. plenty of niggas who was switching up the shit that we heard them come out on once YB made that the wave. And then, like, when we when we got down, came out with that shit, bro, that's uh, so, 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 all I heard for two, three years was us, especially North Carolina. A lot of me, but us in the whole rap game for sure. Like, I definitely be feeling like niggas heard shit me and Baby did or even shit he did and, like, you feel me? Soak that shit in, like, for sure. But like y'all just said, we we came in fully developed. It, we didn't. Nobody nobody, nobody, mad, nobody put like. us in the studio and was like, uh, y'all should. After we made Animal, we made 20 songs probably. And nobody was like, nobody gave us that idea to, like, do the, the back and forth shit. What everybody do today. What everybody do today. Mm-hmm. Everybody do today. Literally. Like, we might not have heard no back and forth shit like me and bruh up until me and bruh, for real, for real. You may heard a song with, like, seven niggas on it that all rap for a minute back in the day, Busta Rhymes and them shit like that, but you ain't heard no niggas go back and forth and, like, I say a word, whatever he say is going to go whatever I just said last. And at the end of his, I'm going to come right up. Like, you never, y'all ain't really, like, mm-hmm. experienced that. But now it's a lot of that going on. Even the beats we bought to the shit. The piano shit, like, a lot of that shit wasn't going on, bro. Like, but again, like, I know. I'm a human being, bro. I'm, I know. Like, nigga, everything only lasts for so long. Mm-hmm. You get mad in 23, you going to play that shit until 24 come out, bro. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So, like, you got to peep how right out, like, really, like, whenever the shit start happening and motherfuckers were swearing, bro, was getting canceled. And but wasn't because he was really like getting paid. Yeah, for he, sure. It was shit probably happening too, but I was there. I was like, this motherfucker getting paid. Like, this is canceled. The shit I was going through in court <laughs> and shit, bitch, I'm trying to get canceled. Mm-hmm. But but for real, for real, around that time when I'm I'm pretty sure he was chilling. Cause he it was a time when you know bro put out shit every four, two, three months. And and he chilled too, and I chilled and and then it was like boom, Rod Waves. Like came in and snatched snatched this shit all up. You feel me? Like, and then I would definitely get that shit the right way. But I would also say like Lil Baby and you know Dirk and Lil Baby. They were going with they back and forth shit. They were dropping their tapes. But like Rod Wave probably had like the 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 like the most influential sound because niggas was trying to start doing what Rod Wave was doing again. Like niggas was the trying to get shit. on them type of beats. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Until YB come back home. And, and he influenced the whole shit, so everybody trying to do what he doing again, or whatever. But now I I definitely feel like it ain't how it used to be. But I feel like niggas coming this shit with their own shit now. I definitely feel like niggas coming this shit with their own shit now, cause you feel me? That's what's going on. Niggas always coming this shit though, saying, saying other people sound like them. But that's what's gonna happen if you like, if you the one, like you damn fool to to be mad that people trying to sound like you. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like. So, like, Boston Richie, don't nobody really sound like him to me. Or uh, D-Lo, yeah, don't I'm nobody really that, yeah. sound like D-Lo to me. Even uh, Rob 49, don't nobody really sound like him to me. Uh, YTB Fat, don't nobody sound like him to me. I know a lot of niggas that want to sound like him. You feel me? But that's, like, local guys that's and shit like that. So, yeah, yeah, like a, I say, a, that's what comes with when you're yeah. that guy. But I feel like, like if you come out with a flow, though, yeah, it's going. Yeah, you gonna go yeah. If you come out with a flow, you going. That's what's going on now. But yeah. but like, when me and bro came, it was definitely on some like, man, I don't know what it was. It might have been just some industry shit. I feel like that too. More people know that you can go sign a distro deal right now before you go sign a major mm-hmm. label deal, and the distro company gonna turn you up just as much as a label. Mm-hmm. Literally, that's what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Literally, bro. Literally. For sure, for sure, bro. So, bro, like, I know you say you've been, you know what I'm saying, to Portugal and around the world, bro, yeah. but do you got, like, a, a dream vacation? Um, Somewhere, you know what I'm saying, yeah. you like, haven't been. To where, when I can take my mom and them, and the bros, like, 20 of them niggas. Okay. Probably more than that, because there's so many younger niggas now, too. But, like, if I, I, it's going to be some shit that I'm going to do, though. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I, that's the dream vacation is taking all of them, because we still ain't even did that shit. Where, though? 
Um, whatever they want to go, I don't give a damn as long as we got to go 50 <laughs> deep. For sure. And yeah, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? You came in before this podcast thing was kind of like popping. So you did all the little radio runs. You did all that shit, you know what I'm saying, when you when, when you was coming in the game. But, like, how you feel about com- the comparison from radio now? Like, the radio runs and shit, the press runs to, like, all these podcasts. The podcast shit, like shit way better. Way better? Yeah, you don't really see, like, no, like, you don't see, like, Hot 97 popping like it used to, like, the freestyles no, yeah. and shit. Yeah, no. You don't really see no. no. I, I knew when I was doing it. I knew when I was doing it how watered, how watered down it was. Yeah, and I knew that me and Baby was going up there for <laughs> Baby to turn up the situation. I've been through this. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I, I'm, I'm a, I was ahead of a mm-hmm. lot of shit other than my business. But... Like being street smart, I was ahead of a lot of shit, bro. Y'all ain't never seen me get into like nothing crazy on the internet. And boy, I'm one of the sickest motherfuckers in these past four or five years. When you feel me, like for real, for real. But nah, bro, I'm just you know on beat, on beat, bro. I swear to God, I'm on beat. Yeah, I appreciate my my dudes and a lot of my bros too. But I'm like, I'm on beat, bro. A lot of niggas don't even be on beat. They be swearing they on beat. For sure, for sure. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, do Stunner got a lady? Chilling. Chilling? <laughs> Chilling. So, how can somebody be, you know what I'm saying, Stunner lady? Man, I'm, I'm the, I am ain't even worried about that. <laughs> you ain't worried about that, bro? I'm going to worry about the jit, you feel me? Like, okay. I'm going to worry about the jit than anything. The jit, the jit. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm more worried about the jit than anything. So, bro, how important is self love? Man, super important. Okay. Super important. That's what I know. Super important. Like all that, uh, uh, what they used to call that shit? Vibrations, high vibrations, all mm-hmm. that shit. Like, I'm gonna get niggas a secret weapon, bro. My bros know this. I don't know how much they use this. Or the ones that be around me a lot. But like, it be simple shit, bro. Like, you can wake up and just turn on like a reggae song or. A song that's like I be playing this song um, Certain frequencies Yeah that That's what it is And you feel me And that shit And that shit like It'll help you like Even though like You feel me You see how I just came in here That my word I listened to that shit Like six times this morning We was on the way here From Houston mm-hmm. I, I played The one I played Like six times this morning You feel me So by the time I sat down I was like texting Man my bad that I even You feel me I just had I just lost my shit real quick But and that's why people that shit, say that like shit you know super like important, bro. That watch what you important. listen to, watch what you watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was about to post it this morning, but I didn't. But I was like, I ain't gonna fake it. Like I ain't turn this shit on before I turn my uh, tape on. Mm-hmm. Feel me for real? For sure, for sure. So, bro, like, I know you know what I'm saying and dealt with, you know, probably some celebrities and shit like that. But if you could put two celebrities in a polygamy relationship. <laughs> Who's Stunner going with? <laughs> bro, on that one. Yeah, I swear he is. <laughs> I swear he is. We got to we got to uh, get some. He's trying to get the best answer out of somebody. Halle Berry, Jenny Jackson. Oh, he's not. Oh, damn. Snapped. That was fire. I'm saying right now bad. or like back then. Right now or back then. Either one straight. Oh, I want though. them back then. Okay, okay. Like like bring them to me when they yeah. were like yeah, and they prom. prom. And they prom. Yeah. I mean, they prom, for sure, for sure. So, like, um, <laughs> is there a celebrity that, you know, you met that you never thought you'd, like, you meet? Yeah. Gucci, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Because I really listened to Gucci okay. my whole life. Like, I, you a starstruck? Uh, he, yeah, I was going to say, how you yeah, felt? Yeah. I was sitting down in my phone, like I just told y'all I'd be. Literally, we was we was at, like, uh, Drake shit. What he called that shit? Toronto Day or something like that. Mm. Six. OVO Day. OVO Day. Yeah. Or, yeah, I guess. Some shit. Yeah, some OVO like Fest some bought, shit like that. When he yeah. bought Baby out and he did the, like, speech and shit, it went yeah. viral as hell. But uh, I was just sitting on the couch, like, in my phone. And then that nigga coming to me like, Stunner. I looked up. Like, you feel me? That's probably the only person that gave me that, though. And that's because yeah. he said Stunner. You feel me? I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. I told all the bros about that shit like that. But, like, other, than, lie, other than him and you feel me, he a real. Yeah. Feel me like mm-hmm. anybody that's like not a rapper that you um, thought you, that you oh hell yeah all the football players all the basketball players that's right. like all them niggas because i was like what the hell y'all didn't listen you know to they shit, jamming your shit that's yeah, how yeah, I yeah. yeah i was finna say who who like ever you know what i'm saying shared your shit and you was like damn kd he shared my shit a long time ago but like that's now fire. i post kd shoes like i literally buy every shoe that that nigga drop i'll post him tag him he gonna repost that like but that even when he reposts that, sometimes I'll be like, nigga, my nigga Katie just posting my shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like That's like he ain't just doing it again. That's hard but, as fuck. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Him yeah, yeah. fucking 
Uh, no, I really can't either. That's probably like one so of you the ever, I really fuck with on the athlete shit. You ever like been like, um, you know, courtside and shit? And like, no, I ain't still ain't been never? to an NBA game. My first courtside Damn. game was a Rice game versus Tulsa. My little bro go to Tulsa though, and even then I was like, damn, we gotta go to an NBA game. But I got like plugs with like the Rockets and shit like that. So yeah. I might, I just met a guy at the gym. He's talking about he gonna like set that shit up. That'd be hard. Yeah, I was gonna say about doing the lie. first shot yeah, and shit Houston like that. Out there. Yeah, hell yeah. So the Rockets, your ass supposed to be. Might out. as well, yeah. Nah, facts. You know what I'm saying for sure, for sure. So like, bro, you you had a favorite movie like growing up, or it could be a current movie. Mm, I forgot what I told you the last time, but my current favorite movie probably like. Oh, I did ask you that last yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I told you something, but. It took me a minute, and somebody else gave it to me. You oh, said it was belly. belly. We said belly. We said belly. Now that is the all time though. But I right now, what's, what's your favorite movie? Bro? I found it. Scarface. I, bro, Scarface. <laughs> bro, it's finna say that bitch soon as soon as I ain't gonna that that one. bitch. I ain't gonna lie. With a lighter, bro. I finna say we can't smoke on the. Oh, on the set. We can't smoke sadly, on the set. sadly, sadly. For sure, for sure. I ain't gonna lie. We need to be able to burn on this set. No, nah, I'm, I'm one tripping day, one day. Woot, woot. Yeah, Baby yeah, girl, I'm tripping. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So, bro, I got a question for you, though. Yeah. So, like, how far you know what I'm saying you want to go in this music shit, fam? I'm I'm definitely aiming for the stars. Like, really no uh, really no limit. Like, I'm trying to goddamn. Take it up, though. For real, for real. Yeah. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Are you, like, what kind of music you make? You know what I'm saying? Like, you melodic? I make melodic. Rapping? I can make any type of music, okay, though. I can fuck around make some rock shit. Okay. Yeah, facts. Nah, make, you know how to make a rock beat, shit? I can. Okay. Not my forte, but I can. You didn't did it before? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie for sure. You gotta tap in with my boy right here. Nah, I already yeah, follow you on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we okay, gotta lock okay. in. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. My boy, he like that. He's sure. like super duper pressure. I ain't gonna lie. Super duper pressure, bro. Like the like like the best shit <laughs> sure. I done seen come from North Carolina for sure. So bro, I got some I got some um either either or questions for you. Uh-huh. Like either or. So like Jay Z or Nas? Nas. Oh no! Nah. Ah, oh, fuck! Ooh, you said it already, bro. Shit, Just quick with that one too. <laughs> Nas, yeah, Nas, <laughs> off the rip though. Um, uh, YB or Dirt? Mm. Huh? Nah, I ain't with that, bro. I can't do can't that. Can't answer that. Can't, I get I'm, 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 why be my homeboy. Yeah. I'm just like I ain't. I don't want motherfucker to be like. Nah, oh, nah, I got that. Like, Cause I don't sure, play that sure, game. Sure. Like, I, don't, I don't do that on the internet. Like, and for sure, for sure. Like, you know they got the worst shit on the for internet. Sure. I, don't, I don't. I stay far away from that. But why everybody know why be my homeboy? Like, yeah, for sure. For everybody sure. know that. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So like, Bow Wow or Soldier Boy? I mean, listen. I, I want you to really look at Bow Wow career before you answer this question. And then look at Soldier Boy career. <laughs> I don't even want to answer this one. If Brett got there, I'm trying to turn it over. I got <laughs> Soldier Boy in the kick up chair. <laughs> I'm just giving Soldier Boy. I fought with you though, Bow Wow. Like I just give it to Soldier Boy, bro. Okay. Because okay. because I'm a, I'm an artist too, and brother carried the artist role a little bit. More I ain't gonna lie, he really he did know. carry the artist role, but as a collector, the internet role. As a collector though, like maybe like doing more now and shit like that. Yeah. But that, that's that, like For sure. each one, teach one. Each you one. Know? Yeah. For sure, for sure. Now he really, he really like started popping. He was the first one on the internet. Now he definitely did. He definitely, nah, he definitely every did all that shit. shit he be saying he do at first. Like when it come to that, and even the way like the bape shit. Like I don't know if it was him or Lil Wayne with the bape shit first, but if it was him, he made Lil Wayne put that shit on. Man, and I, then seen Drake that, seeing, I seen I seen taking his bars. The first time I seen bapes was in the Hustler music video with Lil Wayne. You feel me back then? Uh. So I I don't know what year that came out, but I just know like around that time, I, that's the first time. And I Drake seen took lyrics from him too. Oh, oh he yeah, definitely yeah, did yeah. That. he definitely did. Tell me what's really going <laughs> on. I, ain't gonna, I was like, I didn't believe it at listen, first, no, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I was when like, that song no when Drake came but, out, but I don't think Drake was like trying to like. That's yeah. that, I think he was like shouting them out. He type was definitely shit, shouting like, niggas yeah. out. Like, you feel me? It ain't. It that's what I was gonna say. Like, come on now, y'all know that though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, that, like, I really don't know, like, cause I really didn't think that when I heard that Drake song. Even when I heard it, nigga, I didn't know when I heard the Drake song. I didn't think of the Soldier Boy song. Yeah, no. Also, it ain't though. We all just found out about on the. Yeah, a couple of But it also ain't the first time Drake did it too. Like, you know how many songs he done said lyrics where it's like basically he paying his 
you know, paying trip. I mean, that's just like shit. the same shit that Rod and Boosie and all them got going on too, fam. So. Have you ever, um, you know, in your lyrics took any, any like old lyrics from a song you listened to back in the day or something and kind of implemented in your, in your new one? No? I did that Mini Man shit, but Mini Man was hard. I think nigga, I didn't jump no Mini Man. <laughs> I think everybody has sure. that raps. <laughs> Fifty or two, yeah. But, but you did like your own version. It wasn't like a. It was a. It was yeah, a remix. I, I just, I just said, I said like Mini Man a couple times, but I did my own shit. Yeah, but yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, we definitely couldn't drop that shit. I think it was crazy to clear that hole. Damn, for sure. So, bro, like, who the better actor? Uh, Denzel Washington. Denzel. It don't matter. Yeah, I was about to Samuel say. Samuel yeah. Jackson. Nigga, Denzel, nigga. Okay, get then. right, nigga. Yeah, Denzel. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. I mean, I got an ass, bro. Make it make sense, bro. Did you not just see Equalizer 3? Nah, he snapped. Yeah. You, you watch that shit? Come mm-hmm. on now. One, two, and three. I'll be, they're my favorite movies. Because yeah, them equal. some shits I watch literally again and again and again. For sure, for sure. Equalizer is lit. I ain't going to lie. Shout out to Denzel also, man. For sure, for sure. So, like, the NFL or the NBA? NBA. NBA? Yeah, what about you, fam? NFL. NFL? NFL. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite team? Uh, the Eagles. Oh, I'm an Eagles fan, too. Hell, yeah. All right. All right. What about you, Stunner? What's your team? In the NBA? I ain't got no team in the NBA. Or the NFL. Nah, my team in the NFL, the 49ers. 49ers. Uh, 49ers. Nigga, shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> he, say, he, say, he say the 49ers I ain't gonna lie Shit They gotta bounce back But they, they did their shit though They did yeah. their shit this year For sure For sure So um, back to the music and stuff man Um, Are you are you signed or nothing right, Or anything right now? Uh, Like not with a major I just like With distro With secure the bag Okay okay That's what I was saying Like People know now That you can do Like that's why The rap shit It's not I wouldn't even just say It's watered down it's more people popping now, and there's more people doing it without the labels because they learned about it over the few years. People putting that shit out there. So how me. did you how did you get into that, like with SCB and learning that you could do this with distribution and all this? Shit, I been knew it because before even with them, like as soon as I as soon as motherfuckers knew I got out of the Interscope deal, like you feel me, you know how that shit be. They were scouting. Yeah, but I ain't even deal. I wasn't. I was telling my manager at the time. I was telling him I'm, I ain't trying to deal with no major at all. I think we was about to fuck with United Masters. But, yeah, yeah. And we didn't even do that. But, uh, like, I when I sat down with Ron, we, we sat down and talked about um, sports. You know? and that nigga just ended up talking to me into the music. I told him that today, though. Like, I gave him props because we, we, we used to bump heads. Nigga used to call me like, man, what, what the hell you want? Like, you ain't recording no song. You ain't seen me no music. Woo, woo. Mind you, bro, gave me the same shit Interscope gave me. You feel me? So He matched energy What So I say And even then Like Bruck 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 got a team Of three people Interscope had Hundreds Thousands probably Bro I swear they run That shit like them so How you feel about the backlash he's been getting? You know, he had a lot of artists, you know, that been, you know, kind of Shit, I ain't going to lie stuff. to you. I don't know them. I don't know they, the situations. But like I told you, I bump heads with bro. Mm-hmm. But again, I'm a real nigga, bro. Like, I ain't, ain't nobody else signed the paperwork, you feel me, but me. So, shit. Brain never said nothing racist to me at all. I done seen that shit. Brain never said nothing, like, you feel me, like, <laughs> my mama would be like Man nigga shut. My mama would vouch for him She don't know him like that But she know me That she know like Boy that nigga ain't racist Yeah Type shit So uh, I don't know the other backlash Other than like You feel me like Bro I'ma keep it hot bro I could be saying what People saying about him About My situation what, But then I will be a bitch ass nigga Cause bro That nigga ain't do nothing To me mm-hmm. He put me in a position You feel me like Wherever I did with it, uh, you go. Feel me? I ain't really expect nobody to hold my hand and take me to no promised land. You feel mm-hmm. me? I ain't even no bitch. I don't want nobody to do that. I, if I win, 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 I want to say I did it. You feel me? Like, sure. type for shit. Sure. I, I used to tell brother that, too. Like, when when it was time for us, they'd be like, oh, you and him should drop. I told him before, like, I want to go gold or platinum before. Because I know once I do it with you, we there. 
But I, I gotta do that shit alone. You, you gotta feel do it me? alone. I, I said that to him plenty of times. That project sure. you just dropped hard. Nah, I appreciate that okay. too, though, bro. I, I definitely that appreciate that. But, so, brother, you know, I got, I got a couple more questions before we get off the podcast. You know what I'm saying? So, like, when y'all, when you and bro did part ways, and you know what I'm saying, you did do your in, your own thing. Like, like, did you have any resentment? Was you happy? You know what I'm saying? Like, what what kind of feeling you got? I was like, I was, I was cool. It was cool. I was like. Yeah, I was definitely happy. I mean, cause of course, I mean, I, mean, I, I, don't I knew know. what I would like. Yeah. Now on, on, on a happy shit, like man, yes, like cause uh, yeah. Brad never did nothing wrong. Like he ain't say, oh, you can't drop no music For or sure. no. Like, and I was just gonna ask you no that shit too. That niggas get up here crying that. about and shit like that. You feel me? It, 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 if we fell out about anything, it's I, I would never even say it on no microphone. Mm -hmm. You feel me? For sure. Cause it's that deep, like whatever. But we ain't even fall out about shit. You feel me? Like at all. Okay, so niggas just parted ways, bro. Parted ways, grow, music grow, wise. Grow, like grow away from each other mm -hmm. or whatever it is. It don't matter, but it didn't, it wasn't nothing crazy. But like, I was happy because uh, I was knowing that oh, I'm about to start these ventures that I knew I was planning the whole time, trying to get out the deal or whatever. Like, boom, I'm about to get into this. I'm about to get into this. It wasn't even no rap shit though. It was literally like all AU shit. Like I say, I was, that's shit. when I was like, yeah. I'm about to chill. I'm about to chill on this shit. I'm about to sell some music and chill. You for feel sure, me? That's sure, what yeah. I did. Sure. That's what I did. Oh, uh, yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. Y'all gotta go scream that album forever, that right? Forever, now. Right, right now. Man, you snap, man. I appreciate sure, it, bro. my boy going crazy. And you got some man. of my boys that produce um, on that band, um, K. Hendrix and Young and Chris. Facts, what that? So Young and Chris yeah. on that bit? Shout out to boys, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. You uh, see, yeah. I gotta go listen to that track. Yeah, they snap. For sure. That's the one with Skiller Baby, right? Facts. Yeah. Oh, the one with Skiller Baby? I think so, yeah. No, okay, so the Ron, Ron, okay, yeah, yeah. I thought uh, that Ron hit the hit them up about it. I think so, yeah, yeah, facts. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah a, I ain't got to go listen to that track. Yeah, that bitch hard. They snapped that. Yeah, shit nah, that out one too. been out too, though. That one been out. Yeah, that one that was but, a single at first. Yeah, right? that yeah, but that, that's why I said, bro. Like, even I told Ron that because, like, I know this. Like, my shit really stream. Like, we dropped two features before I dropped Punch Me In again. Punch me in again, past them hoes in two weeks, but it was cause it was me. I ain't mm -hmm. saying nothing against like I, 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 you feel me? I uh suggested the skill of, and the YTB fat features, but I was always telling Ron we ain't even need a feature cause like cause my, I'm gonna stream, shit, yeah. like, I'm gonna stream for sure. Like that shit gonna stream some way somehow that whole gonna stream, bro. For sure, cause my boy drop a whole tape without nobody on that. Mm -hmm. bitch, for I'm sure, tell you, I done did it. I already know that's on, what I'm on my dish you. on my kid, yeah. <laughs> yeah and that and that whole still stream today. Mm -hmm. That motherfucker definitely two like two million streams in total. For sure, for on my sure, dish bro. kid. Uh, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like what motivation that you can give to the young kids? You know what I'm saying? That that what, wanna whatever you, know what you doing, not even just music. Whatever you doing, like just do that shit. Feel me? Control your mind. Stay off the internet. Like I ain't saying like I stay off the internet, but like. And I've been fucking up the past two days, but, like, I've been trying to tell niggas, like, do something else other than get on your phone when you wake up. Like, watch how your day go. Mm -hmm. Listen to new music. Uh-huh. Or, listen to, or listen, to, listen to, like, yeah, some, some like. Yeah, yeah, do something And watch how your day yeah. go, you feel me? But, like, like whatever you want to do, just do it. All right, but you got to be in control of your mind to do it. Full in control, too, though. Like, not following what you see on the internet. That's why I say try to not pick up your phone because... Picking up your phone makes you want to do something, literally, bro. Like, and literally, gang. M me doing this podcast with taking them last time made me tell Doc, oh, I need to do it today. You feel me? Like, need to be busy or whatever. But th this good production or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. simple shit. Like, nigga, see my homeboy got on. Nigga might be like, damn, I need to, you feel me? I need to put that on or whatever, so. When I say be in full in control of your own mind, just like know whatever you want to do is what you want to do because you want to and not because you seen it happen. Because it might not happen how you want it to happen. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Your story might be t written totally different. You just trying to force something else. That's how shit go wrong. That's shit. Facts, facts. That's how shit go wrong. You know what time it is, man. We tapping out, man. We are Florida Podcast. Stunning for Vegas in the building, man. We yes, are Florida. Sir. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs>